when the founders were thinking about how to make a new school of medicine, they aimed really high. The idea was to bring the very best basic scientists to teach medical students. And John West epitomizes that. Instead of bringing someone to simplify pulmonary physiology, they brought the best pulmonary physiologists in the world to teach at the highest possible level. In forming the department, I was looking for people who were able to teach the basic scientists. And John West fitted that absolutely perfectly. I realized that this was going to be a very remarkable place because it was starting at a very high level in terms of academic excellence. John West, more than any other person, explained how if you understand normal physiology, you can then become a really good doctor. So I found myself for the first time teaching students who were being introduced to uh, lung physiology. And I found it very demanding, uh, but very challenging, very interesting. So I decided after a bit to write notes for the class, and then I made them into a book. And it's called Respiratory Physiology, The Essentials. And it's done extremely well. Before I ever met John West at um, Yale University School of Medicine, I used West pulmonary physiology. And then, lo and behold, 30 years later, when my daughter was taking pulmonary physiology, she used West respiratory physiology. It's used all over the world. If you go to Moscow or Beijing or somewhere, you know, the likelihood, if you're a first year medical student, use that, that book, it's used all over the world. I believe it's terribly important to expose the students to the best possible minds and the best possible teachers. And that's what we do in the, in the organ physiology course. He is a pulmonary physiologist. He's a great scientist. He's the world's expert in high altitude um, pulmonary physiology. He conducted the first and so far the only uh, respiratory studies on Mount Everest. We organized an expedition to Mount Everest. It was called the American Medical Research expedition to Everest. The reason for doing that was purely physiological. I mean, we wanted to know what happens when they go to extreme altitudes, the highest altitude you can get to in the world, what happens to their physiology. And uh, we were very successful. We had five people reach the summit. And let me tell you that although we made these measurements on the summit back in 1981, no one has made any sense. <laughs> We're still waiting for somebody to go up there and tell us if we got it right or not. <laughs> he used that special uh, opportunity to learn about lung function. I would call him a pulmonary physiologist supreme. I don't think that there is a better one around today. Everyone thinks about pulmonary physiology the way John West taught us. It's like the one unifying fact on medical education throughout the United States. And, you know, and, and we're very blessed to have people like John still with us who can remind us of, of what it was like and also to continue the transition into, into the, you know, the, the next 50 years at, at UC San Diego School of Medicine.